Hey everybody and welcome to a new Behind the Music, uh, this time for the short film Penny's Gallery by the amazing Taylor Garcia. Um, let's start with the first cue, which is the opening, and let's just jump right in and listen to it. Here we go. So this is it. Um, it's pretty nice ambient song, patch here from Zebra from the from the Hans Zimmer edition. Then massive patch I created um, that sounds like this. And I would say that that's pretty much the the main element of the song. It's yeah inspired by Disaster Pieces music. And then we have the other pad, which comes in later. There's this one. Pretty, pretty vocal, uh, but really, really beautiful atmosphere. We have another pad here that doubles the same thing through. Which is another massive pad. Um just to like add some more highs. I think it's an octave above the, the other one. And then uh, most of it goes through crystallize and grain delay just for even more ambience and even more atmosphere. Uh, Crystallizer, if you don't know from, from Sound Toys, is an amazing echo. And especially I, I love it in the, in the reverse setting because it just adds so much character to everything. Um, but yeah, these are the main Pads. Then there's um, this thing, which is really cool and looks kind of funky in the <laughs> in the edit, but it's uh, uh, let let me show you. So what we have here is a patch from Spitfire Labs called Guitar Harmonics Soft Plugs, and what I did with that is just add the scale the that the song is in to the whole line. 
and arpeggiated in a, in a random way and in a random rhythm. So randomly it just plucks any note from the guitar. There is an LFO that controls this rate, but again it's also set to random, so it just happens randomly. We have crystallizer and Raum, which is a reverb, um, a bit of equalization, auto panning, and then another reverb, and then some gain automation uh, just for like fading in. What else do we have? Uh, this is just a collection of some some other things from Spitfire Labs, which in combination sound like this. I love this. This is so amazing. It's uh, the LA Atmos and then different patches from that uh, layered together. But I actually didn't use this specific one in the song. But what I did is, uh, I think it's this one. Let me double check. Yes. So what I did here is I, I took that and then ran it through a plugin called a VCV, um, which is like a digital Eurorack synth. And I ran it there completely through with a lot of shit. I don't remember everything I did. And then I used sketch cassette to make it sound more like lo-fi, like bit more crackle, a bit, a bit less high end, a bit of vibrato in there, slow vibrato. And then some auto panning as well to just keep everything moving because the song is arrangement wise it's it's pretty static it's the same chords just going over and over and it's all about the movement and the sounds for me which is usually how i work i wanted to keep it that way but uh, it's important to to think about movement in in these arrangements for me at least all right next up we have this patch from zebra which is a bass drone also from the hans zimmer patches um, just to add some some low end. In the end we have another ARP here that is also f made in Zebra and I love this one because for me it always sounds like a plucked Stratocaster um, and I love this this guitar-y character of this ARP and uh, for me it adds so much organicness into synth um, so it's it's a yeah, it's the Timmy ARP, I call it here. It's, a, it's an ARP pegiator that I that I use a lot of times and in and, and, and a lot of songs you can hear it and I love it. It sounds beautiful. And then there's there's one more thing and I would say that's basically the funniest thing about this song. Um, okay, that is that. Um, what that is, and that's that's pretty funny, is... I basically went and recorded some dancers from our university in in the studio and and I recorded their their feet and their movements with different kinds of microphones with like a membrane microphone a contact mic and and just a stereo mic and so I took these yeah. here you can hear the, just the the pure recording that we had and we did that for like an hour so there's there's so much in there but I took this and I just ran it through my modular synth that I have here, like my analog one, and ran it through Soma's delay and also like a reverse thing in beats. And it created this. And then there comes all this processing. And afterwards it sounds like this. And that is not much, but for me, it, it adds a lot to the track, especially combined with the LA atmosphere. It's just that, I don't know, that character in the ambient music that I always love, the, the, the non-musical stuff that, that makes the atmosphere. So, so that is no music, that's just atmosphere. And then there's this stuff as well, the pluck guitar, which is just atmosphere. And that's all that is, like the foundation and, and everything that this track basically needs. And then you just add the harmonies and everything comes together. But all right, let's go to the next track, which is, I think, the even cooler one from, from this album. 
All right, so this is the next track called Machasaurus, which is already like a weird title, and it's a weird song. It's probably one of the funniest songs I've ever written and produced, but it was it was a whole lot of fun recording it, and I think it turned out really well for what it's supposed to be. Unfortunately, I don't have the full version uh, on my hard drive anymore, so this is like a, a shortened version, but there's still all the elements in there, so let's just take a listen. <laughs> important thing about this whole song uh love goes out to claudia but let's talk about her later uh let's start maybe with the with the normal drums i've got some some normal drum samples layered here as kind of a kick drum uh what was important for me were two things um one thing is keep it really short so that the side chaining works well also give it a lot of base layer but also top layer through uh, i think i added in this one i think it's just like a it sounds really like a hi-hat more than a kick but it helps really to to give it give it this top end and then next to that uh there's some claps that i recorded myself In, in like a clave then we have some bossa stuff just some clave and uh, conga groove and then we have cowbell of course you can never miss a cowbell just beautiful uh, we have kind of a rim shot as a transition yeah you don't really hear it anyways and then we have like another whole mass of <laughs> percussion kind of thingies uh, that's a normal percussion but then I also weirded it out through shaper box and then uh, some other weird stuff like beat repeat a lot of beat repeat uh, to, to make it sound like this where it doesn't really sound like uh, like percussion anymore, but like really weird bubbly synth kind of thing. But it works quite well together for me. Uh, we also have the dance drums, which sound like this. Uh, and this, this is again from the recording session that I had with the dancers. Um, there's some isolated samples here. And these are all just warped sounds of dancers dancing and their feet on the ground with the microphones that I talked with in the last songs, but now turn into a drum set. And together with the other drums. And then with all the weird percussion stuff. And I mean, if you isolate stuff, it sounds really, really silly. But it, it works together, and I think that's that's really important, especially for for percussion. I feel like you can you can layer so much bullshit, but in the end, it 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 just has to groove. And I think this one does, but I guess that's also up to taste. Um, what else can we talk about? This is pretty cool. This is just like a patch on the on the mini moke and then we have another patch here on the profit uh, which are all from Arteria's vintage collection <laughs> But that's kind of my main bass sound uh, for this song then what else do we have here oh yeah this one <laughs> 
which is kind of the the B melody kind of thing. Yeah, it's also not too much. Uh, it's it's again VCV. And this time I have the patch. And it's basically just uh, plates. Sorry, forgot the name. Plates uh, going through the liquid filter. Um, so all mutable instrument clones that are just in VCV. But man, they sound so incredible. <laughs> I mean, just these elements with some glitchy melody is it's it's so incredible what you can do with this. Um, but that was my B melody. Oh, we have more dancers. And I feel like there you can actually hear that it's dancers dancing, but together with the drums. Or like, you also have a riser here. Again, small little details, but all funny and all made with love, which is the most important thing I would say with this track is it's all just fun stuff, fun little details. I also have my roommate breathing for me. <laughs> and no, my roommate is not Darth Vader, but it was also like just pitched down, I think, a ton. Another cool thing is these uh, Shaper Box guitars. Just to add some more glitchiness, especially together with the with the modular synth, I think it sounds kind of quite funny. Um, I mean, the intention with this song in the in the movie as well was to make it sound as as weird and as un in place for for a, like an artsy event, but still make it feel dancey. Um, so that was what I tried to do to just make it as weird as I could. And I think now we also come to, to the even even weirder part, which is some of the voices. Some vocal chops. Here again are some breathers from the dancers. And then through Buffer Shuffler and the Shaper Box. Buffer Shuffler from Max is also a great tool and then this preset from Shaperbox does some time stretching, panning, and volume automation. And then there's now the even cooler voices. So I don't know why I have it, but I have a sample of baby vocals, playful baby vocals. And I just chopped it off with uh, Ableton Sampler and then randomized every of these little chops and uh, put it together and then it sounds like this. Some LFOing with just volume, so you have it sometimes louder, sometimes less loud, and here's some LFO for the balance. So sometimes it's on the left, sometimes on the right, but all randomized to even be more weird. And now this is the greatest recording session I ever had. Um, let's just solo it. I'm I'm sorry, Claudia. Please don't hate me. And that's Claudia. I, I, if I, if she allows me, I will now insert a video from the actual recording session, so you guys can can watch that. Or like all the vocals together, let's do it like that. It's just, it's just beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's about it. We have some, some stuff left uh, that I can show you, but it's all like, I think it, it turned out quite, quite funny and quite well. So let me know what you think about these songs and this album. Um, it's been a pleasure working on this movie with my dearest friend, Taylor Garcia. And yeah, check it out. Um, I have the music video linked down below. I also have the movie linked down below. So 
check it out and and let's 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 chat about it i would love to hear your opinion <laughs>